I love Prettier, and I'm concerned with how many people are using Prettier wrong. To be clear, it's not actually Prettier they're using wrong, it's ESLint, because linting and formatting are very, very different things. I've seen a lot of misconceptions around ESLint and how it should be used in your code base. Just because ESLint can change your code doesn't mean it should. And the big thing I've seen too much of is people using ESLint as the formatter for their code base. ESLint is not a formatter. ESLint is a linter. And if you talk to anyone on the ESLint core team and you tell them that you're formatting your code with ESLint, they're going to give you a weird look because it is a bad, bad idea. Formatting and linting are fundamentally different problems. A lot of this rant is directly inspired and stolen from Josh Goldberg's talk he did at React Miami. And I want to highlight this particular slide from it. The role of a formatter is to format your code, which means it does one really quick pass across your code. Anything that isn't formatted correctly, it fixes. It doesn't keep track of anything. It doesn't check the relationships between things. It just runs through your code and fixes things that are broken in your formatting. And then it's done. And that's it. Whereas a linter is trying to confirm specific discrete rules are being followed in your code base, which means the relationship between a file and specific lines in it, as well as between different files, between different rules, all of the complexity involved in that is necessary for the linter to work. And that complexity can and almost certainly should exist outside of your formatter. And the way that ESLint recommends you run Prettier is using ESLint config Prettier, which is a plugin that turns off all of the ESLint stuff that conflicts with Prettier. So you'd use Prettier for formatting first and then do a lint pass after. It just runs so much better and makes your editing experience better too. And it lets you use Prettier for what it is, a very, very fast formatter. And you don't even have to use Prettier. Dprint is a great alternative that is insanely fast. It's written in Rust and lets you format your files effectively instantaneously. It's also a bit more configurable. So if your reason for using ESLint instead of Prettier for formatting is configuration, you should use a formatter that is better configuration. My reason for using Prettier is I don't want to think about the config anymore. I just want my code to always look roughly the same. And Prettier does an absolutely phenomenal job at that. I don't usually have a Prettier config unless I'm having a bug with one of the like built-in packages, like the plugin for Tailwind in Prettier. If I'm using PNPM, I have to manually put that in. But other than that, I almost never have a Prettier config because the defaults are fine. Defaults are actually pretty good. I, I hope I'm properly emphasizing my point here is that like the role of ESLint and the role of Prettier are just so fundamentally different. Prettier is a thing I don't want to think about. I don't want to change rules and I don't want it to look at. I just want it to run and make my code consistent. A linter is a thing I'm going to sit there and configure and make me a better dev with and make my team more consistent with. ESLint makes it so I don't use promises wrong. It helps me be better with my TypeScript behaviors and make sure I'm not leaking anys all over my code base. And it's a complex process to do that. And it's even more complex if during that like set of passes, it also has to worry about formatting because it might do a pass, realize the formatting's off, adjust the formatting, and now the lint rules are applied differently. Now it has to do yet another pass. I saw a pretty bad take from Anthony Fu, which sucks because he's normally really good about these things. His words were, he couldn't see how doing two passes would ever be faster than one. The way that doing two passes is faster than one is if it's not two versus one, it's like 20 versus one, <laughs> because that's what your linter does. It does some very complex analysis of your code to make sure things are where they're supposed to be. And your formatter, just make sure the output's the right shape. These are such fundamentally different problems. I need to make sure I link this talk in the description because man, there are so many little gems in here around configuring ESLint correctly, around getting better error reporting in dev and in like your builds. There's just so many little things that Josh helps here with ESLint. And I find most people are scared to better understand it. I personally was one of those people. I avoided digging into ESLint for a while, but after listening to Josh a bit more, I realized it's not that scary. It's actually pretty important. And if you get familiar enough with it, things are much easier and consistent. And some of these rules are Dope. There's a TypeScript set of rules too. The recommended TypeScript rules are incredible and will make your code better and more resilient. That is a different problem from formatting. And we need to stop pretending that they're the same. Doing formatting in ESLint is using ESLint wrong. It's making it slower. And it's making the lives of the maintainers of ESLint harder because now they have to deal with all of these weird patterns people are using ESLint for. The docs are being updated to be very specific about this. And if you go to Prettier's docs too, they're pretty clear as well. Cool. There it is. Integrating with linters. Linters usually contain not only code quality rules, but also stylistic rules. Most stylistic rules are unnecessary when using Prettier but worse, they might conflict. Use Prettier for code formatting and linters for code quality, as outlined in Prettier versus linters. This is a pretty well-established thing, and it is frustrating to me that people will not listen to both the ESLint team and the Prettier team because they think they know better than both when they actually don't understand either. And that's why I felt like I had to make a video about this, because I'm so goddamn tired of people acting like they know better than these hardworking open source maintainers. They don't. These people work really hard to make great software, and they've finally made it easier for us to make the software 
software cooperate together. We're not taking advantage of it. We're complaining about it. I don't get it. It's just the formatters are really good and fast if you let them do one pass and do their thing. Just use the formatters for formatting and use the linters for linting. Don't use the linter for formatting and certainly don't use the formatter for linting. Goddamn. <laughs> and thankfully in here, they say you can use these two plugins that will turn off prettier conflicting rules in ESLint. And they even have here ESLint plugin prettier, which they specify you shouldn't use because what this does is it runs prettier's rules in ESLint. Because the linter has to worry about so many conflicting rules and so much context that exists outside of the specific line of code being formatted, it also doesn't necessarily do formatting great. And I don't remember the specific examples, but I know Josh gave examples of weird tab behaviors that the linter couldn't handle well, that prettier handles really well. And those types of things are more complex when your process to read the code is more complex. So if you want to do this stuff right, the way to do it right is you use prettier, ESLint config prettier, and then whatever ESLint config you want to on top of that. But you should not be using ESLint plugin prettier as your prettier run. It just doesn't make sense. I hope this one was helpful. The thing I run into a lot and I've seen way too much. Generally, if you set up create T3 app or even create next app, you're going to get good enough linting and you can just NPM install prettier and you're done. It should be that simple. can be that simple. It is that simple. Please love of God, just let it be simple. If you want to hear more about things people use wrong, I'm going to pin a video in the corner right here where I talk all about how people have used JavaScript wrong because it annoys me. <laughs> so check that out if you haven't already. Good seeing y'all as always.